Oh. <laughs> Hug it, hug it, hug it. Yeah. <laughs> this car in front of you is like, hey, chill out, check the lights. <laughs> what is going on, guys? I don't want to scream. <laughs> the camera's actually over here now. It's always over here. Yeah. But we are here at Jim. Mm, what's it called? Emerald Village. Emerald Village. I don't say Jim yeah. Village. It is Jim Village. Um, and we are mining or sifting. For, for rocks. This is his rock. Hold on. I'll show you my, my three rock. This is like my favorite one so far. The giant blue one. Yeah. This is Michael in the back of it. <laughs> but what you do... Oh, I just lost the garnet. You lost the garnet? <laughs> it fell through. What you do is you get a scoop and try not to spill anything. And then... We have these sifters. Yeah, just so, yeah, you can see it right there. And then there's a bunch of water running right here in front of us. Yeah, there you go. And you sift it back and forth. And you pull out rocks like this. <laughs> and then we ask the guy because we don't know anything. <laughs> this doesn't help. <laughs> These are like perfectly clean rocks, no dirt, no sand. But yeah, so there's like, there's all kind of stuff. And it's pretty cool. I mean, what time is it? I have no clue. I mean, I find <laughs> well, the sun's not setting now. We came all the way over here for so, two, 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 two hours. <laughs> time for another bucket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we came here to do the, uh, the Black Lake tour. And what that is, is we go in one of the mines and we look at stuff that glows in the dark. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Yeah, so, so we have all of that to go do. And then, we didn't even the museum yet. Yeah, and we got here at like three. three. Yeah. And it was like the tours at like 7.30. And we were like, uh, what do we do for four hours? And then they're like, hey, let's go. <laughs> Let's go digging rocks. Look at yeah. Look at that. See, look, look what he just found. If you'll hey, clean it. Up. So it's just like a red one. Yeah, cool. <laughs> but a lot of the stuff that you find has like it's like white and it has like mica right here. And some of these will have rubies. Do you have one that has a ruby on it? That's cool. Yeah. Here we go. So it looks really spotted, but that is the ruby. I don't know if you guys, you can hear me. We're outside. Just a little tiny guy. But you just sift through it and look for stuff. <laughs> So guys, that was the beginning piece of um, Emerald Villages. I don't know if that's where I said we were, but we went there to this mine that was there and we ended up doing the the sifting through the rocks. And I want to show you some of the rocks that, that I found um, here. So we have, I think these are quartz, these three right here. And then we have some amethyst, with it, which is like the purplish looking color um this one's pretty cool it's like a blue like it was like the bluest one that i found um, i'm not very good with these i think this is felspar maybe um and then we have some green and then there's tons of little like green and reds and oranges and blues in there um and we got this one it has some green on the side of it even though it's predominantly white um this one was kind of cool it's got like a like a stripe pattern to it, whatever. And then this one has a bluish, a dark blue tint as well. And this one has a, like a greenish tint. Um, and then of course we got some fool's gold, some pyrite. It looks like it got smushed on the way home. Um, that's actually how I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference between um, gold and, you probably can't even focus it, um, gold and fool's gold or pyrite is that it's malleable. 
So this was probably round. I'm pretty sure this was round when I first got it. Um, but as you can see, one side is completely flat. So that means it was probably smushed against like another rock on the way home. Um, and so that's how you can tell that it's that. Um, that's, the little knowledge, <laughs> that's the little knowledge that I do know. Um, but we went to that and then the coolest part of this trip, which is actually why we went down there to begin with, we got there like three or four hours early because we didn't quite know where it was at, which is way off in North Carolina. Um, but we didn't know what to do for a little while, so we went and <laughs> mined, mined rocks. Um, we sifted through them, and, and that's some of the that. This is about half of them. The other half, um, my friend Chase, he he got. Um, but the, like I said, the big thing was is that we wanted to do a uh, a black light mine tour at night. Um, of course, it's at night. Um, but there were rocks in there that looked just ordinary, like regular white rocks. But when you put them under black light, they glow in the dark. And there's greens and oranges and purples and pinks and blues. The blues were not like that really, um, really, um, like vibrant is the word I'm looking for. And um, so the greens are like really out there. So I'm gonna sh end this video with uh, showing you some of the footage I got. Now you have to keep in mind that pictures show up better than video. So the video might be grainy or shaky and that was because it was pitch black. There was no light whatsoever, um, except for the black light. But, and they actually said these black lights. So if you go to Walmart and you pick up a black light and say it's like $10 for a black light, these black lights were $1,500. They were super duper uh, black lights. They said if you stood in front of them for uh, a set period of time, you'd actually get sunburned because it's such short UV rays. Um, but there's all kind of different video, uh, all kind of different rocks we saw and pictures I take. And I'm gonna show you all of that guys now. So I'm gonna leave this off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Breaking Focus. And as always, capture the moment. Are they indigenous anywhere else? Yes, they find some up in New, um, New England, Connecticut. Here. I had known for a long time that it had been found in these mountains, these old mines. I, I grew up prowling around these old mines, but I didn't have a powerful black light. So is that not your average black light that you can just buy at the store? No. Are you? Your average black light at Walmart's $10. This light cost one thousand five hundred dollars. Much more powerful, but you know, start with the ten dollar one. <laughs> it, it will not do near this, but some spots will do pretty good. And you said all the green. That's the feldspar. So it's feldspar, opal, and... Well, there's also smoky quartz and mica and uh, many other things that don't show up under the black light. They're garnets, aquamarine crystals. Some of the aquamarine crystals show up. But I don't know if it's there in the wall. Let's see. It's fairly, fairly red there. Or I call it red, I'm not sure that's exactly red. <laughs> <laughs>